Hey there. I'm here to show you a little hobby project I've been working on. I've um, been building an operating system out of um, x86 assembly code. Um, yeah, some people have shown interest, so I thought I'd make some videos about it. Here's a little demo of it. Um, so here we've got a simple shell that doesn't have many commands in it at the moment. Um, that we can do stuff like I don't know, say hello world, uh, frame clinks, and different things. World. As you can see, you can uh, backspace and everything. Um, and we've got a reasonable amount of test cases, and you can also scroll up and down using page up, page down, and just the first keys just goes a little smaller. Bottom. Um, we've got some uh, pretty colors. Um, and we've got some input. So that's basically all we can really do with this operating system. So it is simple at the moment. But I've got grand ideas. Um, it'll take a while, but. I think it'll be quite a fun uh, process going along doing it. I thought this was quite a nice uh, kind of starting demo. Um, it also panics when you do something wrong. So, for example, if I do shift escape, I think it will um, panic because it doesn't know what to do on a shift and an escape. But that's a little something. Uh, so, I've got like a bunch of tools. Uh, we can do a bunch of debugging, we can format our code, we've got some linting to make sure that our code's up to standard, and we can also record a bunch of videos, um, demos, etc, etc. Um, as for how much code we have, um, so as you can see we've got a bit under 5,000 lines of assembly code. Um, most of it's in the BGA driver at the moment, but kind of spread out. Um, and we've also got a few shell scripts and also some C code for all the tests because I've decided that C might have been a bit easier for tests. In the future, there might be some other languages as well. Um, we've got a little demo which shows even less than what this video shows, but. Um, you can find that on the readme on the GitLab page. So there is a GitLab page. Um, it even tells you uh, when you run it, if you notice that. Uh, yeah, if you have any issues, please report a bug at that point there. Um, I'll also put a link in the description. Um, you can also do some debugging, which I thought is pretty cool. So if we run that, um, it runs our virtual machine, which we're running Kimo at the moment, um, but it runs that and also runs VDB, and we can kind of step forward. Um, the first jump kind of sets up some breakpoints because the assembler that I'm using, uh, Phasm, if anyone's interested, um, that doesn't do symbols that GDB recognizes, so you'll see we don't have any symbols or anything there hard mode right um, but yeah we can uh, continue here um, control C will kind of stop it wherever it is um, and we can also set breakpoints manually so say if we want to um, live demo time um, say if we wanted to I don't know just pause after we set the prompt what we can do is just put an int 3 which stands for interrupt 3 um, and if we run that again, so interrupt 3 is the debug interrupt. Um, future video might talk over all of that. But you'll see here that it's um, set a breakpoint and we've stopped it there. And it's got this um, exchange VX command there. That's so we can um, break in a different debugger, the box debugger, which I can show in just a sec. But you can see here that this is um, 
where it is but we can't really see um, what the code looks like so we might just um, jump back in there um, source utility show so if we see the in three we can see the first call after that is this C call thing, which um, actually generates a bunch of commands. Um, let's push all the way down to there. Um, basically, it aligns the stack, uh, pushes whatever stuff onto the stack, and then um, resets everything after calling it. But yeah, we can um, kind of step into that, and that's going to get us a string. So what we can do is. Um, see what string we got and we can see EAX which is where it gets stored is zero so that just means that we didn't get a string and that's because there's no input. Um, that's just a simple example on um, what we can kind of do with the debugger. Um, as for targets we actually support um, VirtualBox as well. Um, it's a bit slower to start up once it gets there, it uh, does the trick. And um, one thing I like about VirtualBox is it has flashing lights. Um, so the flashing is just a dark, uh, bright background in Kimu and various other, um, I was going to quit come on, uh, various other things. Um, so sometimes it's flashing, sometimes it's not. Um, we can also debug on um, a debugger called Box, um, which we can find here. And if we run that, it's even slower. Um, but yeah, we can um, do that and we can also step through things here. Um, if we had that interrupt, um, it would also. Um, pop back here, which maybe I'll do. Um, so just after that, we can do M3. Um, and if we debug again, um, bring it just back over. So you'll see it's kind of paused before it's done the prompt. Um, and if we continue from here, it will um, do the prompt. And it saw us get an enter from somewhere, which is why we got another command. Um, it should probably say something like, there's no input, uh, but that's all right. Um, yeah, so there's like a bunch of stuff here. Um, I've got some ideas on where I want to go, but um, also happy for other people to kind of suggest any improvements or features they would like to see if they're interested in kind of seeing where this goes. Um, so yeah, check out the link in the description and you can find uh, the very first version that I've published and yeah, have a play with it. Um, you can also run it in a emulator um, in a web browser and you can also maybe run it on actual hardware. It runs on one of my laptops and that's good enough for me at the moment. Um, but yeah, check it out and let me know in the comments what you think.